$1,000 less. That's $1,000 less. Better quality for less money. Only at the Jerome's Dream Shop. HomePlex charger or a public charging credit. See your Volvo retailer for details. When a truck hit my car, the insurance company wasn't fair. I didn't know what my case was worth, so I called the Barnes firm. I'm Rich Barnes. It's hard for people to know how much their accident case is worth. Let our injury attorneys help you get the best result possible. Here, you can find your style in every aisle. Got an eye for design? We've got a design for your budget. Want endless aisles of more? We've got more, way more. When you explore our showrooms of style, you'll find whatever you're into. At a price, you'll really get into. Lowe's, home to any budget, home to any possibility. Well, good morning to you. I'm Chris Schauble in this morning for Frank Buckley. A truck plows into a group of people watching fireworks, leaving two women fighting for their lives. What police say happened just ahead. And good morning, I'm Erin Myers in Venice, where a young man was killed, a young woman seriously injured in a car-to-car -car shooting. Now, police looking for who's responsible. I'll have the details coming up. The long July 4th holiday weekend is coming to a close. Before it's all over, people, they got to get back home. I'm Steve Cruz. We are live at LX to look at how the travel situation is shaping up today. And good morning. I'm Lauren Lister in for Jessica Holmes. An air quality advisory has been issued following the illegal fireworks that lit up the sky over Southern California last night. Why some people with underlying health conditions should take the advisory seriously. Good morning, I'm Sam Rubin, brand new at 8 o'clock. A well-inked, a well-known comic says he's getting the tattoos removed. What is prompting that decision and will it affect his very busy love life? We'll talk about that. Plus, be the first on your block to see Space Jam preview screening and a ton of Space Jam swag. The giveaway is on the way. And good Monday morning, the 5th of July, and a live look from the mountains where it's a spectacular, even majestic start to the day in your zone forecast. 71 expected along the coast, 81 downtown LA, San Fernando Valley, 95. Some areas will see low clouds and fog burning off to partly cloudy skies, otherwise breezy conditions. Orange County as well, 83, 96 in the Inland Empire, and 100 in the high desert. More on your seven day forecast for now though, uh, Ginger has an update on traffic. Yeah, I saw the Space Jam trailer in the theaters just last week and it does look good. So that's gonna be a good giveaway. You know, we have some updated information about our ongoing situation into the Cahuenga Pass. 101 Freeway, the southbound side of the 101, right here at about Cahuenga Boulevard. So you can see that there are now some Caltrans crews that are on the freeway. So most of the investigation has wrapped up, but there is some discussion about this having being a hazmat type situation. So because of that, they are saying that maybe not until nine o'clock before they're reopening up those lanes. They could open up one lane before that, but for now, nine o'clock is the estimated time. Moving it over to look at the Inland Empire. Let's see, 210 East to the 215 South. There was a report of a fire here, and that fire may have been from earlier, so perhaps that's just a flare up. Either way, that's gonna slow some people down. They may have to get a unit to stage here, and we'll watch to see what develops, but hopefully it won't tie you up too much. We know that eastbound commutes have been busy. It's the West that's gonna be real crowded this morning. Lauren, Chris. Breaking news in Venice. One person was killed and another wounded in a car to car shooting. KTLA's Aaron Myers is live near the scene with more on the investigation. Hi, Aaron. Good morning, Lauren. An extremely scary situation for these victims. We're told by police they were being chased in their vehicle by the suspect vehicle. Now they're like, 
police are looking to see who is responsible for the shooting, killing an 18-year-old man, sending a young woman to the hospital. You can see this is a very active scene. Family members are out here, uh, as well as detectives and LAPD officers. And you can see that vehicle that the victims were in overturned uh, partially on its side. And this is just one of the locations. We're told there are three crime scenes and at least 15 shots were fired. Part of what happened was caught on video. You can see two cars driving alongside each other when one veers off, hits a curb and ends up landing partially on its roof. We're told this started around 2.30 this morning. Originally at Brooks and 6th, a man and woman were in a car and were being chased through the neighborhood by that suspect car. Someone in the suspect car opened fire on the victims. The victims were able to drive to this location before the driver, it's not sure yet if the man or woman was driving, crashed into the front yard of a home, the car flipping upside down. Both victims were struck by gunfire multiple times. The suspect or suspects fled the scene. The man in the car was pronounced dead at the scene and the woman, believed to be about 21, was transported to the hospital and is said to be in serious condition. She suffered gunshot wounds and injuries from the crash. Detectives spoke this morning. The officers arrived. They found